friends. So today, a couple things that I'm going to go over, and it seems like some little glitchy thing happened with my first video, so I'll make sure that this uploads, and I'll ask you guys just to send me, um, letting me know that this is working and those different types of things. But um, the reason that I'm starting this video is we are going to talk about the read aloud that I'm going to do with you guys for the Declaration of Independence, and that's going to come up in just one second. I'm going to post different chapters of this book, What is the Declaration of Independence? If we were in class, we would do so many different activities with the Declaration of Independence, um, a lot of exploring, letting you guys figure it out, reading in our textbook, reading different sources, but seeing as we're not in school, it's going to be a little tricky to do that, so I thought this was the best way for you guys to get a lot of the information about the Declaration of Independence. And the book that we're going to do that with is this the Declaration what is the Declaration of Independence a lot of you probably have read the who was what was series of books um, there's all of them from Walt Disney to JK Rowling to historical figures like Martin Luther King um, and different presidents those are all really great but we're gonna read this one because this is what we're talking about we're talking about those historical documents and eventually we're gonna see how those really formed and shaped how our country is today so what's my job in this whole project that we're doing, this whole chunk of your um, internet learning? It's going to be, I'm going to read the book to you guys. You're going to see I'll have it under kind of my document camera, um, and I'll read either a chapter at a time. I'll post it on YouTube, and then discuss any questions or comments you really might have. But the other part of this is what is your job? You need to go to Mrs. B's YouTube channel. Again, it's on, um, I'll link it here. I'll show you guys how to get there. But you also can look it up by looking up my first name and my last name, Nicolette Burgess. It'll come up right away. Um, you're going to watch each chapter that I read, and you're going to jot down two to three interesting facts about what you hear, and I'll explain all of that in a minute. Ways to get to my YouTube page. First one, look it up on YouTube. Most of you, even if you don't have access to Google Classroom Hopefully you have some access to YouTube or internet or anything like that that you could be using this. Look up my first name and last name, Nicolette Burgess. It's right here for you guys. And you're going to see that I have a playlist that's what is the Declaration of Independence. All of the chapters will be in here and this instruction video will be in there too. I'll also put a link up on Google Classroom. And if all of those don't work, just ask me and I'll send you the link to them. And here is the link, guys. So if I click on this... What should come up? Wait for it. Wait for it. It's coming. All right, there is my YouTube channel, okay? And if you see right here, here's the two playlists. The first one is Mrs. B's Distant Learning. That's where I put all of my instructions um, for any of the assignments I give you. But then right next door, it's right here, um, is the Declaration of Independence Read Aloud. That's where you're going to find the chapters um, posted for you guys to look at. Let's see if I can get back here. All right, then from there, friends, you are going to be taking notes. Let me just get back into my PowerPoint. <clears throat> your notes that you're going to be using, you should have gotten in your packet pickup that most of you probably got this past Monday. Um, and it should be a packet that looks like this and I have it up on the screen there too okay this is where you're going to be putting all of your notes um, it would have been really hard for me to get all of you guys your notebooks and those things and get what we need into our notebooks so I thought this was the best way for us to take notes as we read this book how are you going to do that you must write down two to three facts for each chapter or even the introduction you listen to and label the chapter you found them in everybody look at this little part that says red you may hop around to different graphic organizer, organizers. You don't have to go in order. And I'm going to show you guys that right now in here. You'll see inside of your packet, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think, different graphic organizers to write down and jot down interesting facts in. You can choose however you want to do those. I'll show you three different examples of how I did mine. I started with the first one. You guys can see right here, what's the point? I read the first chapter, or for you guys, listen to the first chapter. I wrote down where I found it. This is actually the introduction. And I wrote down Thomas Jefferson wrote the Declaration of Independence. 
Hmm, is that an interesting fact that I probably should remember? Yeah, so I jot it down. Also, when I was reading or listening to the introduction, I heard it was signed July 4th, 1776. Dates are always important when it comes to history. So I wrote down that and I said where I found it. Now, you'll notice I need two or three facts. Are those two or three facts for an introduction? Good, I'm done. But I then went on to chapter one. I listened or read to chapter one. And here you can see I used the very next graphic organizer in here. And I said Great Britain had owned the 13 colonies. I put in parentheses, I found that in chapter one. Now, boys and girls, you're going to see I don't continue on that same graphic organizer. I'm like, huh, let me go to this other one. This other graphic organizer says, um, listen to the speaker. The teacher will let you know when to stop and write down whatever you learn from the speaker. Guess who's the speaker? It's me. From listening to that YouTube video of me reading the book, write down another fact. So I wrote down Great Britain, even tax colonist sugar, chapter two. Does everybody see how that works? I'm going to recap that really quick. Listen to the video. Write down two or three facts about what you find interesting about the chapter that I read to you guys about the Declaration of Independence. Anything really important, don't do more, two or three. You can go write in order and use the graphic organizers that I gave you. If you want to fill in all the pencils first, then go to another one, that's fine. Or you can hop around. It's your choice. Either one is fine with me. How the videos will be posted, I may, um, you may do this at your own pace. I suggest you only listen to one or two chapters a day. I will post one or two chapters um, weekdays for you to listen to. Okay, so on weekdays notice, I'll put them up there. I'll get them up as quickly as I can. They're just really, really big files, guys, because it's a whole chapter. Um, it's a big file for me to put on there, but I'm going to make it work. If you have any questions, always, always ask me, okay? And this instruction video is going to be on there um, along with all the chapters that you need to read. It'll be posted on Google Classroom too in case you need some extra help or reminders of how to do this. Hope you guys enjoy this book.